Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on Classic Mini DIY today. We are going to be tackling an oil change on our old minis today. Pretty straightforward process, but any car is going to need an oil change, especially these old minis. We recommend that you change your oil on these minis at least every 5,000 miles. The best would be 3,000 miles. And our number one choice for oil on these old classic minis is Brad Penn, which is a great, great engine oil. It's used for braking in motors, general driving. It's going to be great. The grade oil that we're going to need is 20 weight 50. Now, a lot of you think that might be pretty heavy motor oil. For these old minis, they share the transmission and engine oil all in the same compartment. What that means is that our oil needs to be a lot thicker so that it can lubricate all those old gears and the pistons and everything else that runs in this motor. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so our first step is to get the oil that's already in the car out. There's a drain plug located on the left-hand side of your gearbox underneath the car. You can see that right here. That's our drain plug. To get that drain plug off, you're going to need a 24 millimeter socket. Now that socket's not a normal and standard socket that's in most uh, socket sets, so make sure you have that before you get started on this job. All right. Oil's out of the car, next step is to move on to the oil filter. These cars use a standard screw-on oil filter like any other car does. Now, when you're preparing your oil filter for the car, what you're going to want to do is fill up this oil filter so it's primed a little bit with the oil that you're filling up the car with. Also, a tip is to put motor oil around the lip of this seal right here. What that's going to do is in the future when you're ready to change your oil again, it's going to make the whole process a lot easier and the oil filter screw off much easier. So moving on to the engine itself. The oil filter is located directly under the alternator. Now if you look under here, currently we've got a K&N filter already installed on this car. That was done prior to filming this video, so I'm not going to change the oil filter this time. The easiest way to get to that oil filter is directly from the front of the car. Most of these cars have grills that can either come unscrewed pretty easily, or you can take off in about five minutes, and then you can reach in and unscrew that oil filter and screw the new one in. All right, now that you've got your oil filter on, the next step is to get motor oil back in the car. If you haven't already, make sure you've put that drain plug back in because we don't want to waste all this new oil we just purchased. The drain plug has a small copper washer around it, which is very important. That needs to go back on with the drain plug. That helps prevent leaks in the future. Next step is to open up the engine and start pouring the oil back in. So you're going to open it up right here on the filler cap. That's going to open it up to the rocker assembly, which is where your oil gets poured into the motor. Add yourself a funnel, and you're going to want to add about five and a half to six quarts of oil. I generally have seven quarts on hand, just in case. And again, a friendly reminder, the oil we're using is 20 weight 50 Brad Penn motor oil. This is great motor oil used for braking in your engine or just general driving. Normally, you can use any non-synthetic oil. It needs to be standard oil. These cars are not made to use synthetic oil at all. So, go ahead and fill it back up, and let's move on. Great, motor's all filled up with oil, and it's time to test to make sure that it runs right. So, I'm gonna return this oil filler cap right back on there, make sure that it's good and tight, and let's make sure this thing starts. That's it for the oil change on the Classic Mini. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Or if you have suggestions for new jobs, I'd love to hear them. I want to help you guys get your minis back on the road and rolling. Thanks for watching.